good morning everyone in the last class we have completed our fifth lesson so today we are going to start new lesson that is sixth lesson sixth lesson is biodiversity and its conservation so what is biodiversity bio bio means living organisms diversity means many differences many changes so many different types of organisms are there on this earth if we take plants you only observe around you around your homes there are many different types of plants many different types of trees you can also name them yes or no mango tree lemon tree banyan tree like that many different type of trees will be there no tree is similar to the other tree in the same way animals also there are many different animals like dog cat fox lion tiger like that many different types of animals are also there so that is diversity diversity means differences or variations so why this lesson is there for us because some organisms some animals and some trees they are becoming endangered right definition of endangered endangered means warning signal about organisms whose number has declined rapidly it is a warning signal of endangered species ka definition hai ye organisms whose number has been decreased rapidly so some organisms number has been rapidly decreased for example tiger only few tigers are left out on the earth because everyone is hunting tiger for their skin and tiger's number has been declined very much so data of endangered species which species is endangered which tree is endangered which animal is endangered very clearly in one book they will give that book name is red data book red data book or red list book red data book or red list book has the information about endangered species next endemic species next definition is endemic species the species which are restricted to particular area particular area only only in certain area some species will be there species means both plants and animals they are called endemic endemic means only they will be present only in that area in other areas they will not be present next so as there are certain endangered species in our country or in the whole world there is a need to protect them so to protect them we are having national parks and sanctuaries for birds national parks are for animals and plants sanctuaries are specially for birds so we have to protect all the organisms especially endangered organisms so that our biological diversity will be saved so the uh, assignment for today is you have to you have to write the so assignment is you have to write endangered species definition and the book which is related to endangered species and endemic species ka definition also okay thank you